morning and welcome to the Misbehaving YouTube channel. Today we are going to be making homemade blackberry ice cream. It's a no-churn recipe so it does not require an ice cream machine to make it. Here in Tennessee we're fortunate to have blackberries grow wild. They're ready to pick from the end of June throughout the month of July. If you're not fortunate enough to have blackberries growing wild in your area you can get them from your local grocery store or your farmer market. But here in Tennessee we're the lucky ones. Let's get to picking. One for me, two for the cup. See you inside. Okay, so we got our blackberries washed here. We got a cup and a half of blackberries. We're going to start with three quarters cups of water and a half a cup of sugar. We're going to let this cook it over medium high heat and bring it up to temperature until it starts to boil. We're going to stir it mix it all together until the sugar is dissolved about a minute and then we're gonna add in our blackberries okay it's been about a minute and a half and our sugar is dissolved and now we're just gonna put in our blackberries cup and a half of blackberries we're gonna keep this on medium-high heat and bring it to a boil Now this syrup that we're making, you can use it for ice cream, you can use it for sorbet, you can even put it in iced tea. I like it in iced tea, but minus the sugar because I'm not a fan of sweet tea. But you can use this for several different things. So we're just going to make the, stir the syrup and store it, and then we'll make the ice cream later. Okay, so this has been on for about two or three minutes. It's coming to a boil now. You can see the berries are starting to turn the red color again. And we're just going to let this sit for another minute and boil. And then we're going to pour it into the strainer. It's as simple as that. We're going to turn it down just a little bit to medium heat so it doesn't foam over. You want the berries to be nice and soft. Okay, so we have our bowl with our strainer. So we're going to pour the blackberries. We'll turn our heat off here. Pour our blackberry syrup into here. And this is pretty hot, so I'm going to put a little towel underneath this. And then you're just going to mash the berries until all the juices have drained out. So I'll just let this sit for about five minutes because it needs to cool because this is really, really hot. Okay, now we are going to add a tablespoon and a half of lemon juice. Okay, now that it's cooled, we're just going to pour it into our mason jar and save it for later. <coughs> Yummy blackberry syrup. Okay, we are going to whip up two cups of heavy whipping cream. We're going to whip this up till it forms peaks. Okay, we're getting real close. You can see the soft peaks starting to form. You don't want to mix it too much or you'll get butter. But this is about the consistency you want it. Nice peaks. All right, we are going to add a half a teaspoon of vanilla. And we're going to add one can, 14 ounces, of sweetened condensed milk. And we are going to fold this in. Okay, so we're going to add a bonus to this blackberry ice cream recipe. We're going to add sugar cookies into the middle of the ice cream. And you can use a cookie dough that's already prepared. You can use cookies that are already made. Or you can prepare your own cookie dough. But what we're going to do is we're going to cook these and we're going to undercook them just a little bit so they're a little bit softer in the ice cream. Let's get at it.
In the oven they go for 10 minutes. Now we're gonna take some of our blackberry syrup and pour it onto our cookies so it can absorb to put it into the ice cream. Not a whole lot, but you just want a little bit to absorb in there. And all that over, that's spilling over, we'll just wipe it up with the edge of the cookies when we go to crumble it up and put it in the ice cream. Delicious. Now we're going to take part of our blackberry syrup. And mix it in. It's about, let's say, half a cup. We're going to save the rest to swirl into the mixture. Now that we've got this blended really good, we're going to pour half of the mixture into an 8 by 8 casserole dish, or you can use a loaf pan, it can be metal, it can be glass, whatever you want. Just big enough to hold the contents of the ice cream. Then we're going to take some of our syrup, and we're just going to swirl it in to make it look pretty. And this will actually create little pockets that will ice over in chunks of uh, blackberry yumminess. Now for the special ingredient, the saturated cookies. We're just going to basically break this up in the middle layer with all that yummy juices. Whatever's left over, we can scoop it up with the cookies. You can leave this part out if you want to. If you don't want the cookie crumble in between, you can leave it out, but this really makes the dish. I used about five cookies. You can use five or six cookies. Just spread them all around. And then we'll add the other half of ice cream to the top layer. And now for the final layer, pour the rest on top. And we're going to take the rest of our blackberry juices and we're going to do the same drizzle that we did on the bottom layer. These really create nice pockets of ice chunks of blackberry. I don't know how to describe it, but it's delicious. And then we'll just take our spatula and make it pretty and swirl it in. Then we'll put this in the freezer for six hours and it'll be ready to eat. And here we are with the final product out of the freezer. And look at that blackberry goodness on the bottom. Yummy. Let's cut it up and serve it. And here we are, the official taste tester. Delicious. Mm-mm-mm. And there you have it. See you, y'all. This is Miss Behaven reminding you, if you got an idea or see something you want to do, get up off of that thing. Make it happen. It'll make you feel better.